this tutorial video, we will provide a step-by-step -step demonstration of how to use the Osram Krayos PAR fixture. The major benefits of the Krayos PAR are the different color options RGB or RGBW and smooth color mixing through flicker-free dimming from 0 to 100%. There is a special feature for amber and warm white colors. The fixture's design is compact and robust. It's controllable via DMX512 standalone or integrated sound to light mode. The fixture is available for indoor and outdoor usage. There are three different wattages and four beam angles. It can produce up to 4200 lumen and the fixture is cooled passively. There is no need for a fan. Krayos PAR can be operated via the 4-button display on the backside or DMX512. The different programs can be selected by the onboard control buttons. First feature is the standalone mode. Please press menu until showing stat. Afterwards, you can access the different static colors via the enter button. By clicking on up and down, you can change each value from 0 to 255. In addition to the colors, you can also choose a strobe effect from 0 to 20 Hz. You can leave the fixture in stat mode if you're looking for just a single static color. Second feature is the auto function. You can either select one out of 10 predefined sequences or personal modified sequences. Next feature is the sound to light mode. Stated in menu SOUD, the light will be basically controlled via the integrated microphone. Here you can choose between two different modes, the color chase mode and the strobe mode. In the run mode, you set the PAR to master slave mode or DMX mode. In DMX, you set up the DMX512. The Krayos can be remote controlled with any DMX512 controller, for example, the Traxon EQ or any other matching software. There is a possibility of two daisy chains. You can daisy chain up to 16 pieces per power circuit at 230 volts or 32 data daisy chain. Fifth function in the menu is the pre-select function PERS, in which you can select different channel modes. You find the detailed channel modes inside the manual. There are several channel modes. In this tutorial, we will operate in the channel mode stage, which comes with the most advanced light color functions. For grouping several PAR fixtures in standalone mode, please make sure that all fixtures are running on ID mode. Now three individual PAR fixtures can be collectively addressed. To protect the fixture from damage by overheating, you can set the maximum ambient temperature value via temp in the menu. In this field, you can check the current as well as the maximum predefined set temperature. In edit mode, you can change the programming of the 10 customized sequences that can be used under auto. Under set, you can access the settings options such as high and normal power mode, dimming curves or firmware updates. For a detailed explanation of the chapters Edit and Set, please find further information in the manual. A pre-selected white color temperature setting under RGBW can be set in CAL1. In CAL2, you can additionally adopt the white color mixture via the color ratio. Major advantage of the PAR is the no flickering dimming and the special warm white and amber coloring.
key applications are medium-sized stages, events, and theaters.